are here with Mo Danford and um, at the 2019 Newport Beach Film Festival. And he is uh, the recipient of an award for tonight. It's the Breakthrough Distinction Award. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, I feel really good. Really good? Just really good? I feel really good. <laughs> and um, you, uh, do you have any uh, film for this uh, festival? I have three. Yes. Three. Yeah. Wow! All for the showing for tomorrow for the Irish. Uh, two tomorrow and one of the in the narrative feature. Oh, okay. What are the names of this film? Thank you. Uh, the two tomorrow for the art. Uh, one is Metal Heart, directed by Hugh O'Connor, and the other is uh, Rosie, directed by Paddy Burnock and written by Roddy Doyle. Uh, but the third, which isn't in the Irish spotlight, which won Best Irish Feature in Galway last year, is The Dig. And it's on Monday at 8.15. It's a great film, and I play a lead role in it. It's great. Oh, we look forward to watching that. And um, is there anything else you want to share with us? No. <laughs> well, enjoy the rest of the evening. Congratulations again. Much. If I were to share one thing, it's... I'm literally just off the plane from Ireland, so it's like I'm fresh off the boat. Wow. And, and Greg Sh Schwenk, the director of the festival, uh -huh. he, he rang me three, four weeks ago and said, look, we want to honor you yeah. out here for this award. And it's the first time I've ever got recognition outside of Ireland. And, you know, it's, it's rare enough to get recognition for Irish movies outside of their country. It's even rarer for, for, for an actor like me to get this recognition. So I grew up watching American movies with my dad. Being here is something like a dream. So this is amazing. Thank you. Hello. Welcome to the 2019 Newport Beach Film Festival. And we have with us the Icon Awardees, the two of them actually. <laughs> We're very honored to have you here. And this is Miss Marianne Brandon and Mary Jo Marquis. So, um, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, it's very nice to be here. Well, how do you feel about uh, being honored for this award? Well, I don't know, the title Icon Award is a little scary. It makes you feel like uh, you know, you're, I don't know. Somehow, you know, it's like when people say you get the, you know, the uh, American Film Institute award. It means your career's over. But we're we're both no, hoping that that's not the case. No, that just means you're very accomplished. Oh, yeah. Very good. Very good. I'm excited. I'm hoping to make it to my desktop as an icon. No, um, it's very, uh, it's great. Like who do, It's lovely to be honored and recognized for our work. And, right. and I am super excited about it. And it's your first awesome. award. Yeah. No, no, we've both been honored before, <laughs> but it's lovely to, that doesn't take away from how lovely this is, and, and, and how wonderful it is that a film festival recognizes editing and editors, it's very nice. Yes, because usually we get pushed to the back of the, nobody wants to talk to us so much about, because our, it, the more very important role. Very important. We think uh, we the agree. most important. Yeah. <laughs> we agree that we spend the most time figuring out the most about the film and rejiggering and what's going to happen and how we're going to tell a story. And we usually, because our job isn't like, hey, look at that incredible dress and look at the <laughs> incredible wallpaper and room and, you know, it's something intangible. But um, And if you think about it, everything that's going on on the set, everything that everybody's done, all the sets that have been built, all the, the locations that have been found, all the script, the actors, the costumes, it all comes down into our hands in the editing exactly. room. And, and we're all by ourselves putting it together while they're continuing to shoot the movie. So we think it's very essential and it's it's a great craft. I mean, I, I truly love my craft. It is definitely the most fun because we do get to manipulate and everything everything that comes in and we do get a, we get enough usually enough time with it to see it inside out and upside down and and also everyone becomes our friend as soon as they find out what we do. Exactly. <laughs> Actors come to our room and be like, "Hi, can I introduce myself? Just curious what you're doing in there." And um, we've had, uh, you know, set designers and costume people come to us and be like, "You're gonna keep that thing in, right? That the, the, the set thing that I'm right? the special thing I did, right?" And um, it's pretty funny. So, yeah. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Here with Mr. Gavin, who is yes. uh, right, yes. and you are uh, the recipient tonight of the uh, Artist Distinction Award. Is that correct? Well, thank you. I'm, I'm very honored. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Well, how do you feel about um, being honored for this award? Slightly awkward, actually. Um, well, there are great artists in the world, and um, it's 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 very kind of Newport Beach to to honor me in this way. Um, but I'm very excited to be here for another reason, and that is because my first feature film, A Reasonable Man, screened at the very first Newport Beach Film Festival 20 years ago in 1998. So I'm, I feel um, it's, it's a wonderful honor to be back in Newport Beach 20 years later, looking a lot grayer. Um, Debut, yes, right? my feature, first feature film um, was a very small film made in South Africa called A Reasonable Man, and uh, and it's I think Newport Beach was the first U.S. festival where it screened. So to come back 20 years later with another film, um, and I have a film called Official Secrets, yes, starring Kira Knightley, um, that is screening tonight, and I'm looking forward to doing a Q and A because it raises some very interesting questions. Um, and and I, I I look well, please, yes, because the. the Q&A should be fun, should be a lot of fun. Oh. So it's great to be back here. You are so multi-talented. I mean, really multi-talented. <laughs> what don't I, you do? I'm just a filmmaker. <laughs> thank you. I know. Um, thank you. Thank yeah, you. you're thank a filmmaker. You. You're a screenwriter. You're a producer. Well, you know, I, I have, yes. I, well, look, the truth is I grew up in a country where very few films were made. Oh. And, um, and I was a young actor and I worked as an actor. And South Africa is very small. And at one, some, at a certain point, I, I thought, well, maybe I should try writing because there's not a lot of films being made. And I didn't tell anyone. I just kind of wrote quietly and secretly, trying to write. And and I was pretty terrible when I started. I think when I look back and think how I struggled in the beginning. But um, but eventually, I really fell in love with the writing process. Maybe because I get to play all the parts when I'm writing. Oh, that's <laughs> so true. Very nobody knows. You're just in a room by yourself and you can be every character. Um, no, but I love the writing process because it's a quiet time of, of, of work. And then, you know, before the madness of actually directing a film where there's just so many people and everything's so intense and so much at stake. So I think where I feel lucky to have the job I have is I, I, I get to do, go through various phases. Sometimes it's quiet, sometimes it's terrifying when you can't raise the money. Oh. <laughs> sometimes when the money looks like it's falling through or you can't get the right actor. Um, it's a crazy, crazy business, but uh, I do feel very lucky to, to be in this business. Well, you've worked with uh, quite a number of blockbuster films. That, one or two, but I think I'm I'm happy. I think the films I I feel most proud of are actually the medium to smaller oh. films. They're, there's a, they're sometimes difficult to raise the money on, but films like Rendition and Eye in the Sky and this film Official Secrets, uh -huh. um, I'm really proud of this film, this new film Official Secrets. It was not easy to get made. It was difficult to raise the money because it's a a political thriller. Um, and, and you know, sometimes it's easier to raise money for horror movies or simply you know, genre movies. So I'm very proud. But um, having made the film, I think I'm hoping that much like with Eye in the Sky, audiences will be both entertained and be left with something to talk about afterwards. And, yeah. So those are the kind of films that I enjoy: is films that both entertain you and leave you with something to talk about. Awesome. <laughs> well, I won't keep you long. I Thank think you. they're waiting for you for the award ceremony. Apparently. Yeah. I think we shouldn't miss it. <laughs> anyway, Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Very kind nice of you. Thank you very much. Cheers.